Okay, so we're back and we've got this first part of our painting dried. Um, you can tell that it's dry when you don't see any uh, kind of shimmer or reflection. Um, if it looks reflective, it's still wet. So you wanna make sure that it feels dry. And also, if you put your hand on it, if it feels cold, it's still wet. Um, so if it can look dry, and if you put your hand on it and it feels cold to the touch, then it's still wet. So you wanna make sure that it's completely dry in between. Now, um, I, uh, we've got, besides the four colors that we've already hydrated, I want you to hydrate a little bit of uh, violet right here on your pa paint pad, okay? And a little bit of green. So we've got some nice high, uh, green hydrated here. Um, and so that's adding to the blue, red, orange, and yellow that we've already done, okay? So now <clears throat> um, I'm gonna show you how to do a wet wash. And a wet wash is where you get the paper wet ahead of time. So we're gonna start with that. So I'm just gonna take my brush and dip it in the water. You'll notice that my water has actually some color in it from, but it doesn't seem to affect the actual water, right? It doesn't, I'm not getting colored water on my paper right here. So you don't have to change your water all the time. Um, so my dog is helping to tell me what to do here. So notice I've got it all nice and wet. And the wet, the water will soak in just a little bit. Now I'm gonna do um, a, I'm gonna do a two-tone wash, but I'm also gonna, or I'm sorry, um, I'm gonna do a wet wash. Um, <clears throat> but what I wanna do is, uh, is also do a, uh, a kind of a, a, a fade. So I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna do my wash, I'm gonna use I'm gonna start, I think, with some, some violet, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my brush loaded. You see I'm loading my brush. That's what it's called when you get paint on your brush. But instead, besides doing this wet wash, um, I'm just going to keep going like this with my brush, right, and dip it back in. And you're gonna see that it gives a totally different effect, right? than the dry wash that we did. And you can see that the paint kind of pools around in a different way. Um, so this is a different effect and it looks really great for skies, right? Doing a wet wash um, or other types of, of effects that you really wanna see in your painting. Um, so now we're gonna go over our stripes that we did before. We have to leave this one to dry before we can do anything else. And I forgot to tell you one of the things that I want you to um, to bring to the table here is a white crayon. So we're going to use that in this square. Um, try to get grab one out of you have a little brother or sister, or you have nieces or nephews or your own kids. Um, take steal their white crayon, or I'm sorry, borrow. To put it in quotes, borrow their white crayon because you're going to need it for this project and you'll see that you're going to be needing it for a lot of other projects that we do. Um, it makes a good mask or resist. Uh, so we're going to be doing some resisting here. Um, you're also going to take a piece of tape and you can tear it or cut it into any shape you want, but I want you to take a couple pieces of tape and maybe just kind of uh, tear them up into small pieces this painter's tape, okay? Don't use any other kind of tape because it'll mess up your um, your paper. You want something that releases easily when you're done. I'm just gonna put a few pieces of tape here on this particular, uh, whoops, this particular square. So we're gonna come back to this in a little bit. Let's see. A little bit smaller. So you can see I just tore a small piece of tape into a bunch of other smaller pieces and just kind of stuck them onto this square here. All right? Just kind of rub them in, make sure they're stuck down well. Okay. Um, so next we're going to cover these stripes that we did um, with the colors that we have hydrated. So we're going to start back again with, with the yellow. 
right? And I'm gonna load my brush with some yellow. And once again, I'm just gonna drag it across this square. Just make one swipe and that's it. Rinse my brush. Then I'm gonna go on to the orange, right? And I'm have, it's already hydrated, so I just need to load my brush with some orange, right? And I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna make a stripe right up the paper, right? Just one swipe, don't, and you wanna hold your brush at kind of this kind of an angle, right? So it's slightly angled. Um, and then next we're gonna get some red, right? Load my brush up with red. I'm gonna do a, one more swipe right there. So now I've done the first three colors that we did and I've striped over the first three stripes with yellow, orange, and red. Now we're gonna go in the second square, we're gonna take our next three colors that we did, which are violet. So I'm gonna load my brush with some violet. Right? And then I'm just gonna swipe it right across like that, right? Don't go back over it, because if you go back over it, you might lift the color from underneath. So um, next we'll take some green, load my brush up with a little green. What? It doesn't seem quite so hydrated there. There we go. And i um, just gonna swipe it up with the green, right? So don't go back over it. If it doesn't cover, just leave it, right? So I got a little bit of water dripped on my wash, and you can see that um, when I did that, it made a little mark, right? So now I'm making it worse. I'm just gonna dab it up there with my rag, right? So rinse off that. And then we're gonna go to the blue. Get a little bit of blue on your, loaded up on your brush, okay? And you're gonna swipe that right up like that. Boom. So that's your first four squares. Now, so in between these, we have to let stuff dry. So it's important that you, um, that you give yourself time to step back. In between these steps, you'll need about a half hour, um, probably 20 to 45 minutes, really, um, to make sure the paper's dry in between these other things we're doing. Now I want you to take your, uh, so, so far, let me just backtrack. So far, we've only used our flat brush, right? So you see the flat brush, you can see it's flat, okay? Now, this next one, we're gonna use our round brush. So here's the round brush. You can see what it looks like, right? Um, and to start, we're gonna take this piece of white crayon and, and you're gonna go, you're gonna make this kind of a motion with your wrist. See, but I'm flicking my wrist like this and you're gonna start from the bottom of your square and you're gonna go up maybe like three, or four little ones. Same with this. Flick it up, starting at the bottom and flicking up. All right? So just do a, a few of those um, as if you're making clumps of grass, okay? Now I'm gonna take some of the green paint that I hydrated already, all right? And I'm gonna make these flicking motions with my, with my brush. So first I need to load my brush with some paint. And you can see I've got my brush loaded up here. Okay. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit, I'm gonna flick my wrist like this, it's this motion. So I'm gonna start down here, I'm gonna go, go flick it up like that. So this is the same motion you just used with your crayon. So do a few of these. You can see what I'm what I'm kind of doing here. All right, so I'm flicking my wrist. Get a little bit more green on there. We'll try it one more time. All right, so you get the idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna make one more on this one. Make it look a little more even. All right there. All right, so you see I've got this wrist flick where the brush is making more contact on this, on the bottom than it is on the top because I'm lifting my brush as I'm flicking my wrist up and it makes for a really nice effect, right? You can kind of see how it gives that look. And the, with the crayon marks underneath it, it makes it look more natural because you're leaving some white space. And remember in watercolor, less is more, right? So we're gonna leave this to dry for a few minutes. Um, 
Remember, do not ever leave your brush soaking in the water. Always take it down to the side. Um, we'll leave this to dry for a few minutes and we're gonna come back to it and we'll do the next step. All right, so give yourself a break, get up and stretch, whatever you need to do. But probably it'll be about a half hour. We'll give it a chance to dry and we'll be right back. <laughs> 